you very much uh, to our speaker, uh, Speaker uh, Martin uh, Romualdez. Please, uh, uh, please be seated. The uh, Her Excellency, the uh, French Ambassador to the Philippines, uh, Ambassador Marie Fontanelle. Welcome to, as I was telling her earlier, uh, welcome to my uh, part of the country. Every time the uh, uh, new ambassador comes to uh, the Philippines to present their credentials, uh, we always, I always tell them that you should, you know, I know that the work is in Manila, but you should always try to find a, t find the time to go and see the rest of the Philippines because the real Philippines is outside of the city. And, uh, uh, and of course, I immediately uh, make the first invitation. I said, can I invite you to Ilocos Norte? So, Madam Ambassador, you have not made it yet to, uh, uh, to it. Oh, you have? Oh, well done. Okay, See, so now she's familiar already with the uh, Ilocano part of, of the Philippines. Uh, uh, provincial, uh, provincial Governor, uh, Rodit, uh, Governor Rodito Albano, the NGCP President, uh, President and CEO, Anthony Almeda, the San Ignacio Energy Resources Development Corporation President, Miguel Mapa, uh, all our friends who have come to uh, help us uh, shift the mix of power from uh, fossil fuels to uh, renewables, uh, the investors who have come to assist us here and have uh, uh, made this very important project happen. All my uh, fellow workers in government, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. I'm Bagna Aldaw Yuamin. Today, today we take another very important step towards a future where sustainable energy powers our homes, drives our growth, and improves the quality of life for all Filipinos. It is with immense pride that I join you for the signing of the connection agreement between NGCP and the San Ignacio Energy Resources Development Corporation for this project, the Isabella Ground Mountain Solar Project. This project is not, about, not only about transforming energy, land, the energy landscape in Isabella. It is about strengthening our entire national grid, moving us closer to a resilient and renewable energy secure future. With an investment of 18 billion pesos, we are looking at the generation of about 440 megawatts of 440 megawatts of clean energy. And that amounts to, as we saw in the, uh, in the video, that amounts to 700 gigawatt hours uh, per annum which is a very significant amount. The construction phase will create jobs for 4,000 workers, boosting our local economy and improving the lives of many families. So I extend my heartfelt appreciation and congratulations to the provincial government of Isabella, to NGCP, and SIERDC for the dedication and for the, de the dedication and hard work that they have put in to bring us to this day where we are groundbreaking the project. Your hard work and commitment are truly commendable. I express my gratitude as well to the French government and Total Energies for in their invaluable contribution to this undertaking. Your commitment to renewable energy development in the Philippines shows the importance of international cooperation in tackling global challenges. For this project and other similar endeavors to succeed, we need to expedite the necessary permits and ensure full regulatory compliance. That is why our government has developed the Energy Virtual One-Stop Shop, or EVOS. This platform simplifies the permitting process, making it quicker and more efficient so projects like this can be completed on time. I urge the NGCP to work closely with government to ensure our energy infrastructure remains secure, reliable, and capable of meeting our growing demands. This collaboration that we have uh, uh, formalized today is key to achieving our renewable energy goals and to ensure a stable power supply for all Filipinos, not just for today, but for the future. Having more initiatives like this project will be a catalyst for our country's positive transformation. For one, 
It will pave the way for a brighter future for all Filipinos by providing more clean energy to light our homes, to invigorate our schools, power our businesses, and fuel our industries. It will also help us in realizing our renewable energy ambitions, which is the inevitable way forward. Indeed, renewable energy is a crucial step for a country and a world grappling against climate change. This way, we may bequeath a greener, more secure, sustainable future for our children and for generations to come. Let us continue to pursue extraordinary opportunities like this, to give ourselves and the next generations to come a fighting chance to succeed in reversing our, our ex exacerbating climate change problems. We in the Philippines have the unfortunate distinction of having been assessed as being one of the most, if not the most, vul most vulnerable countries to the effects of climate change and global warming. So with unwavering dedication and our combined efforts, we can create a future where renewable energy not only drives our progress and prosperity, but it also becomes a fundamental part of our national identity. Through this collective commitment, we will ensure that renewable energy is not just a source of power, but a light, a guide, a North Star, to show our nation's resilience, innovations, and forward-thinking spirit. Let us illuminate the path together towards a brighter tomorrow, where brilliance of sustainable energy will continue to shine as a beacon of hope for generations to come. Mabuhay ang IGMSP, mabuhay ang Isabela, Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas at maagang pagbati sa lahat ng isang maligayang araw ng kalayaan. Magandang, magandang hapon po sa inyo.